Hello, my name is Kevin Good, and I will have your son or daughter in the course this semester called Computer Applications. The purpose of this video is twofold. One is to give you a little bit of background information about me, but probably more importantly, what are some of the nuts and bolts of what your student, your son or daughter is going to be learning. I will not be getting into student expectations and procedures uh, in this video. That is outlined and you can see um, a, a copy of that in progress book. So without further ado, let's just hit my personal background quickly here. Uh, I graduated from Brecksville High School in 1984. I know you're going to say, well, why doesn't it say Brecksville Broadview Heights High School? They hadn't changed the name yet. So I believe it is that because that's what my diploma says. I do have three grown children, though, that did graduate from Brecksville Broadview Heights High School in 2012, 16, and 17. Um, I'm an empty nester with my wife of 31 years. Uh, she is also uh, a school teacher. She teaches fifth grade STEM in the Parma uh, School District. I graduated from Miami University, which is incidentally where I met my wife, majored in business and, I'm sorry, received a bachelor's of science in business and I majored in accounting. I uh, worked as an accountant for the old Ameritrust and then merged with Society Bank for about three or four years. And um, now, of course, Society Bank is KeyBank. I worked in IT training for Cliffs Natural Resources in the summer of 2012. Uh, that was a fantastic experience to get back into the business world for just that short period of time kind of opened my eyes to a lot of, of changes that have, have uh, occurred uh, and then i started teaching in brecksville in 1984 94. okay so let's get to some of the nuts and bolts we start off with microsoft word yeah we're using the microsoft platform here and you say well why are you teaching microsoft if their school district is google and i think that that question has an answer already built into the question because these students are going to leave these walls of Brexville and they're going to be faced with a different platform than Google, whether it's Microsoft Word or something else. Most likely, at least all three of my children were asked to have Microsoft Office downloaded on their laptops for the first day of, of college. So I know that lots of universities use it and I'm just, this is an elective course. Um, I think the students should have some exposure to the Microsoft Office products because they very well may be um, uh, be using those sometime down the road. So in Word, <clears throat> we start off just a little quick chapter on, on uh, making flyers. That's just to break the ice, get them used to the ribbon in Word and um, where to find certain commands and such. But the big meat and potatoes of the Word chapter is teaching them how to format a research paper using the MLA documentation style. That's what our English department uses. And um, they will do a research paper in their 11th grade year as well as their 12th grade year. So this is going to be directly uh, it's going to help them directly with regards to that. Then we move on into Excel. Obviously, you got your spreadsheets. We learn uh, some very basic formulas at first, but then we do get into some pretty complex formulas. Um, and we teach them how to graphically display the information that is, uh, you know, in their spreadsheet by inserting charts and graphs. We will do uh, a couple of chapters in uh, Microsoft Access, which is a database program. Um, not very widely used in the business world, but a database is a database. And we'll, we'll teach them how to create a simple database and then how to use that database to be able to extract uh, or query uh, specific information. Finally, uh, a real small short chapter on presentation software. We use uh, Microsoft uh, PowerPoint for that, uh, the equivalent of Google Slides. Um, and I just I don't teach them necessarily because I think they already know how to make a, a sort of presentation, um, but I, I'm going to teach them the right way to make one. Uh, simple things like putting too many things on a slide um, and when you're presenting, having your back to your audience, you know, little things like that. So when they do make a presentation in one of their other classes, they may have a leg up on the rest of the student population because they've learned some tips and tricks on how to you know prepare and present uh, a good presentation. To supplement um, <clears throat> this course, we do a, use an online program. It's called SAM 2016. This is just a screenshot of the home page here. Um, what we use this for is to, I use it to pre-test the students before each chapter. Um, and there's a learning module built in. I'll explain that here shortly. And then at the end of each chapter, I use this to post-test on. This screen here is a typical task question. This is what they'll go through. They'll go through 25 or 30 of these task instructions. And this one says change the paragraph spacing, whatever. OK, they have to perform that if they do it correctly. It tells them right away and they go to the next task. After they finish all of the tasks, a report generates and tells them anything that they got wrong. 
and it gives them a link to what I call a show me, try me. It, it's it's a, a page where a demonstration is done for them on how to do this particular task. And then they have the opportunity to try it on their own so they can practice those things that they miss before they take the post test. It's a great product. I absolutely love it. Um, so I guess lastly, I just want to say uh, thank you for your support and feel free to contact me via email. I will get back. Trust me. That's one of my, uh, that's one of my pet peeves is, uh, if I don't, if you don't hear back from me almost immediately, something, something's really wrong. So you guys, uh, thanks for your support again. And I, I'm looking forward to a great semester.